Hey guys and welcome back to my wearable Halloween series. As you can see today we're going for a vampire themed look. Um, super simple and if you don't want the kind of cutesy cheesy looking fangs you can always leave those out and just do this dark kind of vampy look. So if you're interested in seeing how I did this just go ahead and keep watching. Um, excuse my hair I know it's just at that length where I put it up in a ponytail and it looks like I have some kind of weird bob thing but this is just how it's gonna stay because it's hot and I don't want to put it down yet and yeah I apologize in advance if I go off on three million tangents in this video because I had a venti pink drink and now I am just ridiculously hyper so yeah I hope I can focus enough to get through this so we'll find out but yeah today's look is going to be a vampirus themed look it's gonna be super simple but just just enough so you know something cute to wear to work or whatever the, the whole the whole wearable series is meant to give you a Halloween vibe without it necessarily looking like a costume so that's what we're gonna do today I'm gonna get started before I talk for 20 minutes and I might just voice over doing my eyeshadow so that I don't get distracted to start off, we're gonna take a black eyeshadow. You can take any black eyeshadow. I just really love the one in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Alyssa Edwards palette because it's so easy to work with and it's so black. You wanna make kind of a winged out shape here. Um, just start in the crease, start slow, build your color up. Don't do too much at once. I didn't speed this part up too much so you could see what I was doing because I know a lot of people struggle with black. Um, so just take little bits at a time and slowly build the color up. Now I'm just gonna go in and add some color to the lid and then I will come back later and do some more blending. Now I'm just gonna go into this dark red shade from the Juvia's Place Festival palette and kind of blend out the edges with that. Now I'm going to go back in with some more black eyeshadow and just kind of blend out and make sure it's seamless. So if you have plans for Halloween this year, tell me what they are below. Um, Halloween is actually one of the only holidays that I like going to parties for. <laughs> um, it's just so much fun. Now we're going to start the under eye. I'm going to start by taking that black shadow right against my lash line and I want to kind of connect it with that upper shadow I did and make it kind of all seamless. Don't worry if it's not perfect. We're going to come back and blend this out later. So now I'm going to take this tiny little blending brush and just a little bit of the red eyeshadow and blend out the edges. Like I said, I want it to all kind of flow and be seamless and all be connected together. So we kind of want that red to almost outline the whole thing and then we'll blend out the black on the bottom lash with the red also. Now for the lips. The three products I'm using are a Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit and Athena Marie XOXO liquid lipstick, which is unfortunately no longer available, but any kind of dark red would work. Um, and I'm also using a NYX liner. If you had a white liquid lipstick, that would really be better, but I didn't have one. So anyway, I'm sorry I was out of frame so much for this, so I'm gonna try and explain the best I can what I was doing. Um, first, I took the black liquid lipstick and I kind of outlined my lips with it. Then really quickly while it was still wet, I took the red liquid lipstick and kind of put it in the center and then I'm taking this brush and kind of just smudging it around and blending it out. Um, now when I do ombre lips like this, I almost always go back in with the colors two, maybe even three times just to get the blend right. Um, so if you accidentally blend out too much red and take away the darkness from the edges the first time you do it, don't worry about it. You can go back in with more and just keep blending at it. Thank you. 
Also, you want to do this with liquid lipsticks that dry down matte because if you don't, if you use a satin or something, when you press your lips together, it's just going to smear everywhere and you're going to lose your ombre effect. So you could totally leave it like this. This is such a gorgeous vampy look and I just, I love it so much. But I did end up going in and adding little fangs on my lips. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, I'm taking the NYX white liquid liner and just drawing them out on my lips. Um, like I said, if you had a white liquid lipstick to do this with, that would be preferable because, you know, you're probably not supposed to use the liquid liner near your mouth like that, but it's all I had. So I did what I could. And here's the completed look. Alrighty guys, and that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed. These fangs are throwing me off. They're so like, like the rest of the look is so dark and vampy. And then these little fangs are so cute. <laughs> I mean, I like them, but they're just so cutesy looking. They kind of like make the look a little bit less dark, I guess. But I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's today's look. I hope you enjoyed and I will be back with more wearable Halloween looks soon.